Neutralite has a vision for the world, to have clean air, clean soil, healthy food, a healthy environment, and that's what organic farming does. The way we deal with pests and disease in our crops is by using life to control life. We make use of insects that feed on other insects. We do it in a way that we do not break the balance in the populations of these insects. When we cut our alfalfa fields, we never cut the entire thing. We leave a strip, a place for the bugs to go to. We don't want to wipe them out completely. Ladybugs will take care of soft-bodied insects. Uh, green lacewing, they are basically the preferred beneficial of the insect world. They're considered the pit bull. Basically, our compost is special because each crop demands a certain proportion between the carbon elements and the nitrogen substances. We have some sea concentrate and we have seaweed extracts or oyster meals which are added to the composting in a way that we obtain in the end about 45, maybe even 50 different elements. There's so many nutrients in the soil that are unavailable to a plant. They're kind of locked up, tied up. They're, they're really in a form that a plant can't use. And we depend on the microbial population. They actually change its form so a plant can readily take it up. We look at the soil as something that's alive, something that we feed in order to finally feed the plant. We really believe in balancing the soil and stimulating a biological community because this is what really releases nutrients in soil. In organic farming, the plant is nothing but the image of the soil that it grows in. Our most important crop is our citrus trees. Uh, these are harvested when the desired compounds and all those great phytonutrients are present in the highest concentration. Alfalfa grows year-round in Petacal, and this allows us to harvest the alfalfa in its precise moment. It goes from fresh alfalfa to dry alfalfa without sacrificing its nutritional qualities. At Trout Lake Farm, we grow a variety of herbal crops. The greatest benefit of Trout Lake Farm being in the Cascade Mountains is that we're located remotely and we have extremely clean airflow across us. We get this pristine environment to grow these organic herbs. Here in Trout Lake, we're blessed with this mountain. 
those glaciers are grinding the rock underneath them into fine, fine, soluble powders, and they get into the water. We throw all those glacial silts out onto our fields, rejuvenating it every single time we irrigate. The farm is located in northeast of Brazil. It's a mixed farm. It has uh, animals, about 250 heads of cattle. It's not diversity just for its own sake, but it's diversity because diversity brings interaction and self-regulation. We have five basic crops, acerola, coconuts, passion fruit, guava, and pineapple. Our main crop is uh, acerola. It's a very generous plant. You can harvest as much as 40, 50 kilos of, of fruit per tree. We harvest the fruit green because that's where the, the vitamin C uh, reaches a peak of about uh, up to three and a half percent of its weight. I think that uh, a classic example of how the science brings out the best in nature is really our acerola. We've learned that not only does the vitamin C drop as the acerola matures, there's various things that happen to the vitamin C as it's being taken down to the process. And so it's the science of studying where does the vitamin C go that brings out the best in the acerola cherry.